You were joking me. <laughs> How's it going? Anyway, I've been sent a grip strengthening kit. Just about said that, okay? From Fitbeast. Uh, now, links to this are in the description box below with a discount code. So don't forget to use our discount code to save a bit of cash. Okay, now this couldn't have come at a better time for me. Um, now, I used to have a fantastic grip years ago. Vice-like, I was the one to crush a can and chuck it away and go grrr, okay? But lately, my grip strength has gone terrible. I have rheumatoid arthritis, which affects my joints, and I have a, a terrible grip strength at the moment. It's really bad. I still work out, but obviously I'm limited by my grip strength. So some of you may say, well, you know, why do I need a good grip strength? Well, there's a couple of reasons why. Uh, the first one is the sort of, the exercise implications. So, you know, you're not gonna have a very good deadlift or a pull up if your grip strength is rubbish, okay? Because <laughs> your, 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 your grip will give way before uh, the other muscles do. So you need a good grip strength for that. Then is the practical sort of application. Uh, you know, you wanna be able to open a jar, you know, by yourself without asking anybody else, can you open a jar for me? <laughs> okay, you're there trying to open in this jar and you can't open it. So obviously that really makes a difference. And also just carrying bags of shopping without having to put them down every couple of steps. Okay, you're carrying heavy bags of shopping, you've got to put them down. Ugh. Does your head in I just want to get to the car to my house without having to put the shopping bags down. And then there's the health implications. So some studies have found that a weak grip strength is associated with increased risk of heart disease and heart attack. So that's pretty scary. So my grip strength at the moment is shocking. Uh, so I really need to get my grip strength much better. So anyway, without further ado, let's have a look in the kit. Well, it's quite a comprehensive kit. It comes with this carry case here with the rider on the front, Fit Beast, awaken the power. There's no there in it. I don't know why I added a there. <laughs> Awaken power. There we are. Uh, so what have we got in the kit? Well, we got this uh, hand gripper. <laughs> got my finger. Listen to my hands clicking. Wow. Uh, and then you can increase the resistance here uh, from 10 kilograms to 60 kilograms by just twisting that and I'll loosen it or make it harder or easier. You've got this grip ring. There we are. So it's quite a few things you can do with that. A stress ball, God, I need that in work. Okay, I may leave that on my desk. Uh, and then you've got this grip master. Now this is a handy little tool. So you can work, work each finger individually. Obviously there's a lot more things you can do with that, but um, I will have a look at that in the instruction manual. Obviously the instruction manual will diff with different exercises in there, uh, you can do. Just there. And uh, then you've got the finger stretcher. Now this is handy because obviously you can see the bigger one for your thumb and you pop that in. There we are, just give it a quick demo. Okay, this is, this is good, I like this. And you can do a range of exercises with this. Let's just get it on here as well. And you can see, look, see all the, see the exercises here? So basically, you just stretch your fingers. Well, wow. I feel I need to get it on a little bit better than that. Just stretch your fingers. Eesh. Oof, have that. Whoa, I can really feel that. Wow, gonna get some strong fingers doing that. Now, before we start, I wanna get a gauge, I wanna get a measure of where I am now and where I'm going to be in, let's say, a week's time to see if I can get anything in a week any difference in grip strength. So what I have here is a dynamometer, and this measures grip strength. So I'm gonna show you just how rubbish my grip strength is. So I've already adjusted it to my measurement. Now when you're using these, you see people standing up or doing this and all that. No, that's not how you do it. You put the arm at a right angle here against your side of your body, you sit straight, legs apart, and you squeeze here. You don't wanna move the arm back and forth. This is where it's supposed to be. Okay, and what I'm gonna do now is to start 
and see what my grip strength is. I hold it for three to five seconds to squeeze as hard as I can. So that's come up at 34.7. So if I look at uh, the chart here, for my age, that's normal. So let's just do my other hand and then see where, where I am with this one. This is, this is really bad, this one is. Okay, waiting for it to start. Du, 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 du. So that's only 28.6. So that's weak, weak. No, not weak. It can't be true. Okay, uh, so let's have a look. 50 later, under 30.7 is weak. Okay, but I'd rather be up in the strong range, and that's where I used to be. So there, we've got our benchmark now. I know where I am, okay? So the next step is, is to get going with this for a week and uh, see if at the end of it, I've actually strengthened my grip strength in both hands and hopefully more in this bloody left hand. You, you weak, you're weak, you're weak. <laughs> anyway, so what would a, a video like this, like this be without a training montage, come on. Q montage. Do you like my montage? It has to be done, doesn't it? You've got to have a training montage, surely. Hmm? Anyway, so how have I been using this kit? Well, the, the diagrams are pretty good and they're quite versatile. You just think you just pick it up and do this. But actually, even with this, you can change the, uh, I think I mentioned before, you can change the strength of it from 10 kilograms to 60 kilograms by using this. But also, you don't have to do it like that. You can do it upside down like that. You can do it with a thumb and forefinger like this, or like that, and you can use each finger if you want. So it's quite versatile. You don't have to do it just like this. Same with the stress ball. Everybody thinks just, just squeeze it. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. But actually you can manipulate. You can do between thumb and forefinger, change the fingers there. You can squeeze it like this. Okay, squeeze it like that. Put it between your fingers. That's a hard one. Oh, try and squeeze that. You have a go at that one. <laughs> okay. So again, and I really enjoyed this one here. So not so much just doing it straight like that, because I found this one a little bit better. But what I did like with this is that you can do it individually, uh, like a piano or a concertina. <laughs> okay. So you can do one finger at a time, finger play. Okay. You can just put your thumb and forefinger here like that and squeeze there to get them two going. You know, you can do it with each finger if you want. That's a hard one. And when it, obviously when you get under the smaller digits, it makes it much harder. So again, really handy. And I, I did enjoy using this as well because that almost went then, <laughs> okay. I did enjoy using this because obviously, you know, having rheumatoid arthritis, it really does help strengthen the joints and the fingers. So what muscles does it work? Well, when you're using these things, there's so many muscles you're using in the forearm, it's too many to name. But the main ones are the wrist and forearm flexors, these ones here, okay, and the forearm extensors here. 
And when you're using things like this on your finger, there's so many muscles in the hand, you don't even know they're the other day. Um, I'm not gonna name them all, I can't remember all of them, <laughs> okay? There's loads of them. I'll put a little picture here, diagram here somewhere so you can see just how many muscles are in the hand. So this, this little tool here is essential. Most people focus on these things, but this, this finger stretcher here, this resistance finger band, is essential, is essential in this piece of kit. I really enjoyed it. So what process did I use? Well, basically every day I picked up these and what I did with each one was I did uh, 30 reps, okay, on each hand and then 30 reps on that hand. And then what I did then was to do an isometric hold. Now, why an isometric hold, you ask? So I, for a count of 10, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And the reason for that is this, is that when you're carrying a bag, you don't do this, do you? <laughs> okay, you don't do that, do you? When you're holding a bar, you don't do this, not jazz hands, okay? You actually, it's a, if you did that, you drop the bags. Well, oh dear, all oh, right, okay. So an isometric hold is essential when you're doing this, these exercises, because when you hold a bag or a bar or hang, your hand stays in a fixed position and that's where the strength has to be. So always put an isometric hold at the end of the exercise. Now, I've only been doing this for six days. So if I, probably next week when I start using it next week, I maybe uh, will increase to two sets. So I do 30, rest for 30 seconds to a minute, then do another 30. Uh, and then a week after I may do 35 reps or do the isometric, isometric hold for about 15 seconds. Anyway, with all that aside, here's the moment of truth. Have I increased my grip strength? Is this now in the normal range, you weak son of a gun? So let's get the dynamometer out. Where is it? I don't know where it is. I'll put it away somewhere. Uh, and see if I've increased my grip strength. Okay, so moment of truth. Has six days of using this equipment made any difference? Now it's not a lot six days. It is really isn't, so I'm not hoping for much. But uh, I've got my, I wrote them down uh, when I did it. Uh, so the right hand was 34.7 and the left was a measly 28.6 weak. Okay, so let's do the right hand first then. So I got 34.7 to beat. Here we go, here we go. Okay, let's start. Wow, what the? Can you see that? 37.7. <laughs> Come on, back of the net. Way, move. All right. Okay, now the left one. <laughs> All right, here we go. Come on. You were joking me. What? I'm, I am, I can't believe it. Check that out. 37. That's almost the same as my right hand. Is this working? <laughs> what? That's, that's an incredible difference. I mean, it could be that, I, I don't know how to explain that really. Uh, so that's a, a large increase of almost, well, nine kilograms on my left hand within six days. So now I'm in the, now I'm in the normal range. So it won't be long and I'll be up in the, what is it called, the strong range, yes. So, so in, within six days, my, my uh, grip strength has already increased. I don't know what it's gonna be like in a couple of months. I'll maybe do a follow-up video to this and, uh, and check it out and see, see how I go. But there we are. So it's definitely worked for me. Uh, you know, considering it's a sponsored video, it's been sent to me, uh, there's no bias here. I haven't done any trickery or anything. That's a genuine result. Um, so I'm really, which I'm really happy with. <laughs> uh, yeah, so don't forget, the product link is in the description below. 
and the discount codes, don't forget to go to the description, click on the link and use that discount code to get your set. Subscribe if you want to subscribe, okay? Don't forget to like the video and I'll catch you woof, in the next one.